पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणे नाशय व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैता अमृतबर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदा भगवदगीते भवदेशिनी वसुदेवसुत देव कंस चारणु रमर्दन देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगत गुरु हि द जगत गुरु हि इज द रिमूवर और डार्कनेस ऑफ द होल यूनिवर्स बट एक्चुअली यूनिवर्स मीन्स द ह्यूमन बींग बिकॉज द आदर्स द अदर क्रीचर्स दे कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस इट इज ओनली द ह्यूमन बींग इगेन एमोंग द ह्यूमन बींग्स ऑल्सो देर आर मेनी हु आर नॉट केयरिंग अबाउट द सेल्फ a group of people came today when i was talking with them about where from we have come how is that place how we are liking this place they were very happy in the moment i don't know how this thing came i told apart, apart from this existence that we see the phenomena that we see there is another existence and that is called self and that we are not very much aware immediately they said okay i think you are busy and we should leave and this actually happens to almost everyone why because of the ignorance and what is this ignorance that you will see in the arjuna's words he is lamenting and the arjuna is not an ordinary person but still he is lamenting why he is lamenting because he is thinking that we won't be here i am going to kill this people they won't be in the future or they are going to kill us so we won't be in future so he is lamenting he is sorry for this he don't want anything so this way things are going on but actually it is totally different in the samkha yoga the first chapter we know the lord the god the sri krishna didn't say anything the whole thing was the description of the two groups of people who have come face to face to fight and they are actually the brothers from the same clan from the same family but still they are trying to kill each other why for the property for the kingdom for the power so two things we must remember one we are fighting because we want something here so that is exactly uh, every time it is happening here too in our life too 
the that was a huge the magnitude and the huge one that they were having we are all the time fighting with our brothers with our neighbors with our these and that constantly why because of this property because this land this life now arjuna's words were very correct if we see comparing with this property this land this phenomena and they say all the commentators they say that dhritarashtra was very happy why because when arjuna is talking like this and if there is no war so naturally his sons are going to enjoy the property and arjuna of course i will appreciate and they will go one lady came and i don't know why he ch she chose me she was going on criticizing ramakrishna mission i told ma'am i belong to ramakrishna mission it is very difficult for me to hear all these words why don't you go to some other people who don't like and know ramakrishna mission and they will appreciate it rather you can go to our newspapers that they will appreciate but it is very painful for me but if i give the argument i think that will be unbearable for you too so anyway enough is enough that you have already said many things no 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 ram krishna mission is only for the rich people you know that's all the same thing they will be going on telling all over in india and things are now slowly the things are changing i told you know i before coming over here i was in a place which is inside the jungle you have seen the newspaper that informations are coming that nearly 20 indian soldiers were killed by the they call terrorist k k for khaplang that is the name of a person who has organized this group and so ruthless people you cannot imagine i lived with them i was in that country and for not a day or two for 12 years i told i was there i spent there 12 years spreading the education for those whom we never knew poorest of the poor most illiterate people and we used to go to village to village and all this will you allow your son to go over there suppose we pay him a very good salary will you allow your son to go then she told no that's that's why you are sanyasins so you are supposed to take all the trouble and then i told i i am adding with your sentence and supposed to face all the criticism also you will be in a comfortable place and at the same time you have every right to criticize because you have given 10 rupee as a donation some time at a time of your grandfather is that so this is ignorance sheer ignorance and they think that they are very very intelligent here we will find the very first thing the arjuna is going on telling and sri krishna is answering now let us repeat the few shlokas from the second chapter it's called samkhya yoga samkhya means gyana samkhya means knowledge yoga means union now the international yoga day will be declared i think at the 21st or 22nd of this month that's a wonderful effort of our <coughs> prime minister of india and it will be declared but this yoga is a different yoga this is only to keep the body healthy but this is a mind we are talking about the mind talking about the self so here the yoga means union what is that union union with myself with someone somewhere we do not know right this moment but it's called paramatma the greatest self or the source of everything so this jivatma and paramatma union how how we are going to be united just by removing darkness what is the darkness 
we will see over here the Sri Krishna is telling about this darkness in the second chapter the ignorance about the truth in the second chapter it says please uh, the first one Samka Yuga Sanjayu Vacha First is the Samka Yuga, right? Atha Ditya Dhyayaha Samka Yuga Sanjayu Vacha Tam Tatha Kripaya Vishtam Ostru Purna Kuleshanam Bishidantam idam bakyam Ubacha Madhusudanaha The Madhusudana, the slayer of the demon Madhusu, Mad, Madhu. This, this person, this Lord, the Madhusudan, the Krishna, he is telling, why? Tam Tatha. Tam means to whom? To him. Tam means to him. So who is this he? That is Arjuna. And Arjuna means the bright one. The Arjuna, the name has been used by the Sanjaya because the Arjuna is bright, he is not ordinary person. And what is that? Kripaya avishtam. But this person, this Arjuna, this moment, Kripaya, because of he is overcome with pity. Then Sri Ramakrishna has very nicely categorized Daya and Maya. Daya means compassion for every being without attachment. Maya, compassion for every being with attachment. So these are the only two differences, Daya and Maya. And most of us, we feel compassionate with attachment. But the Daya, the same thing, little change, immediately becomes helpful for us to realize God. Here, Arjuna is totally overpowered by this Maya, the PT. Asru Purna Akula Ikshanam. Asru Purna, man like Arjuna, his eyes are full with tears and she, he cannot see properly. So much so, he cannot see properly. That is the condition of the Arjuna. Asru Purna Akula Ikshanam, Bishidantam Idam Bakyam. And Idam Bakyam, these words, Sanjay is telling, the Sri Krishna, the God, the Madhusudana, told these words. What are those words? Next verse it will come. And he is speaking. What? He says, Sri Bhagavan Ubacha. Kutvastva Kashmala Idam. Bishame Samupastitam. Anarja Yushtam Aswaragam Akirti Karam Arjuna Kutastva Kashmala Idam Idam, this, what is that? This weakness. Where from it has come? Kashmala Idam Bishami Samupastitam when you are not supposed to be and you are thinking, you are working, you are feeling in this way, where from it has come? Suppose you were talking like this before, I could understand. I could understand that you are trying to figure out what is good, what is bad. But now that everything has been decided, why suddenly you are thinking in this way? So when we decide before that, we must argue, we must judge, we must know, 
we must have the inquiry of everything. Swami Vivekananda is telling about the sannyasi life in a very wonderful way. The, what, what are, who are the sannyasins? He said, free like air, but obedient like grasses. So the sannyasi, particularly in our organization, they are free like air. That means they are thinking before and of course afterwards. Before, when you are coming to join in the organization, you have to accept the norms of the organization. We have rules and regulations. That you must know. Then you judge whether it is possible for me to practice or not. And then you come and join. This is the first thing. They are free to choose. And then when you are accepting, you must be obedient to all the rules and regulations of the organization just like the grasses. Even after even joining, you are again free. Free in what sense? In thinking. You know, there are many, many paths. One is Advaita, another Vishishta Advaita, another Dvaita. So you are free to choose that. Nobody is. We are not com imposing something on you. Nothing imposed on you. We had few swamis and one swami who was a trustee you know the trustee means those who are actually looking after and he was from Bangalore and he used to support that Ramakrishna see Ramakrishna is a Vishishta Advaitin he is not Advaitin and Swami Gambhidananda ji he was a Pakka Advaitin he said Sri Ramakrishna is Advaitin Another person who was there, he said, all, oh, both of you, why do you fight? He is purely Dvaitin. So all the three, they were trustees, they were our leaders, and they were having three different views. And we were free to choose anyone. But our ideology, but our goal was not these Swamis but Sri Ramakrishna himself. So that way you are free. Here it is telling Kutastva, Kashmala, Idam, Vishame Samapastitam. When you are not supposed to be like this, you are. This is dangerous. Then he said, Anarya Yushtam, uncultured. This Anarya is uncultured. Here we are free. But before taking any decision in the parliament, they are all critically analyzing the whole thing. But after that, when the decision has been taken, everybody should follow that. Whether I was liking it or not, it doesn't matter. Now that the decision has been taken, I must follow it. But if I don't do even and secretly try to go against it, to harm it, anarya yushtam. That is uncultured way. One should not do like that. So anarya yushtam, and then he said, aswargam, you are not going to gain anything. Here the sarga means the heaven. And you cannot go to heaven. You cannot get the peace. Heaven means a place where people are in peace. People are at peace. You won't get the peace. Akirtikara. And not only that, people will go on criticizing you. If you do something wrong, not that contemporary people will talk about that, but the history will go on talking about that. Because of that person, we are suffering. Particularly in the Indian perspective, we know. We are all the time, constantly, the problem which is coming from the West, we are, oh, that man, had he taken proper action at that time, we could be free from all this problem. Even the, those who have born much, much afterwards, we got the freedom in 1947 in India. Maybe some people who are born in 1985, 1990, even then they are criticized. Why? Because of the fault. So, akirtikara. See how practical. 
तो कुतस्व कश्मलम इदम विषमे समुपस्थित अनार्युष्टम अस्वर्गम अकीर्ति करम अर्जुन बट हु इज फीलिंग दिस श्री भगवान उवाच नाउ दे डिन से संजय इज नॉट मेन्शनिंग दैट श्री कृष्ण उवाच लुक एट इट ही सेट भगवान उवाच हु इज द भगवान भग मीन्स he knows the origin and destruction that means utpattim cha vinasham cha bhutanam agatim gatim and also the gain and loss at the same time enlightenment and ignorance of the creatures vidyam cha avidyam cha vitti ya sa bhagavan iti in the bhagavata it very clearly he mentions bhagavata says the who can be called as bhagavan sometimes the disciples simply when they are mentioning without knowing what do they mean by bhagavan what does it mean by bhagavan they only say, oh my guru it is bhagavan that and that but bhagavan means this quality is is he having these utpattim cha vinasham cha this person the bhagavan he knows how the this being are born and binasha and when it is going to be destroyed utpattim cha binasham cha bhutanam agatim gatim and also the gain and loss agati and gati the loss and the gain at the same time their ignorance and enlightenment another definition same bhagavata gives about the bhagavan what is that it says bhaga means some qualities and they what are the qualities it says divine glories aisharya means divine glories then birya is only all right the divine glories means aisharya and birya that is fame again majesty sri detachment vairagya and liberation gyana so these six qualities should be there then only one can be called as bhagavan when we call sri ramakrishna as bhagavan sri ramakrishna if you read his biography and one must read those who are trying to having some knowledge about the spirituality religious life must read the biography of sri ramakrishna because he is describing the whole the religion in such a way and that's why he is bhagavan so bhagavan means he is having six qualities aisharya virya yasha sri vairagya and gyana these six qualities and at the same time he who knows all the things about the creature that's why this is bhagavana and this bhagavana is saying second shloka the bhagavana says klebyam masma gama partha nai etat tai upapadyate shudram hridaya daurbalyam त्यक्तिष्ठ परम तप हेर इज एनकरेजिंग अर्जुन बाय एड्रेसिंग हिम परम तप एंड दिस वीकनेस ऑफ द हार्ट शुड गो क्लेब्यम मास्म गम पार्थ योर मादर पृथा एंड शी इज हैविंग अ स्ट्रॉन्ग डिटर्मिनेशन and being her son the partha 
by being a hard son, how you are becoming so weak? When you are supposed to take a proper decision, then you are faltering and thinking that this, whether you will do it or not, this is not good. Swami Vivekananda said, look at it. How the God helps us by giving the inspiration and then the knowledge, knowledge through the scripture, knowledge through the guru and that one should understand. Not that God will come and help us by holding our hand. Sometimes he does. He can do it. And many of the occasions we have seen that God is doing like that. But mainly that this type of thing we must always remember when all helps are coming. Suppose I am trying to do something and suddenly I found when I am going on praying to God, this is my wish and I like to do it. Then suddenly some people came, they are helping, things are becoming so easy to perform, know it for sure, is the God's will. And the guidance are also coming. So you have to wait patiently and work very carefully. So klebhyam masmagamo partha, you should not be weak. And once I have decided to do it and I am failure, oh, it won't be possible for me, because God is not liking, it's not like that. So klibata, klibata means the weakness. This, okay, I could not be successful. Maybe the God, it is not the will of God. Next, now next. Go on trying and trying and trying. Then only the blessings of God will come. Upapadyate is befitting. Klibya means this klibata, this importance is not befitting to you because you are the sana pritha. And hridaya daurvallam, weakness of the heart, taktva, abandoning, uttishta parantapa. You are the scorcher of foes. You get up. Now, this is the wonderful way the who fails to face a crisis and speaking and acting irrelevantly is denounced as a dolt. When a crisis has come, one must face it. It's not the problem, it's talking of the crisis. When there is a crisis, there's a situation, if you can handle it properly, there is no problem. But when there is a situation you cannot handle properly, then it's a problem. In fact, there is no problem. There's a situation. And in this case, the Arjuna is facing a crisis, a situation. A wrong decision will create a problem. Not only for him, for all the good people, those who were depending on Arjuna, on his leadership. So this is the God said. But Arjuna is going on giving the argument because his mind is covered with this thought. He says, Arjuna Vacha Katham Bhishma Maham Samkhi Dronam Cha Madhusudana Ishubhi Pratiyotsyami Pujarha Arisudana. Here he is addressing the Krishna in two different names, Arisudana. Ari, Ari means the foe. And he who is destroying the foes is you. O Krishna, you have fought with your foes. And Madhusudana, again, you have killed the demon. But look at me, whom I am facing. I am facing the Bhishma, my grandfather. When I was a small little kid, Bhishma used to take me on his lap. Now, how can I 
shoot my arrow on his body is it possible he is not ari he is not my foe he is not a demon how can i kill him fight with him and again he is mentioning about the drona he is my master he is my teacher and how can i kill my teacher he has taught how to fight everything that i i have learned from him and you were asking me to fight with him see how he is choosing the two names to remind krishna you are asking me to fight fight with whom you are arisudana you have fought with your foes you have killed the demon but now before me who are so this is telling and then he is telling arjuna is giving the argument very strong argument guran hatva hi महानुभावान श्रेयो भक्त भैक्षुधीर न श्रेयो भक्त भैक्षम अपी हलोके अगेन आई विल रीड गुरन हवा ही महानुभावान श्रेयो भक्त भैक्ष्यम अलोके हर्थ काम गुरुनिह भुंजीय भोगा रुधिर प्रदिग्धा न चैदिदम कतरन्न गरीय यद्वा जेम यदि बानो जेयु यानी बहत्वा न जिजी विषाम स्थिता प्रमुखे धार्तराष्ट्रा कर्पन्न दोषो उपहत स्वभाव पृछा मिवा धर्म सम्मूचेता निश्चित ब्रूहितन्मे शिष्यस्तेह साधि प्रपन्यम न हि प्रपश्या ममापनुद्या यत्शोकमुत्स क्षण इंद्रिियाबापूमा बसपत्नमृद्धम राज्य सुरापत्यम Arjuna is giving the argument and also giving his decision, his firm conviction, as it were. He is mentioning. He said, "You have killed your own enemies, but I have to face my own people, my friends, my guru. My they are not my enemies. So he is telling, 'Guru and Hatwa, they are my guru.'" and this people by killing them if i go and take my food that will be like eating the rice or the food stained with their blood he is using very strong words to impress krishna after this if we had stopped if there is no 
Gita, Bhagavad Gita, the answer of Krishna, many of us would have appreciated Arjuna and his argument. But here he is telling in that way, Nachaidat bitmo katarano gariyo yadva jayema yadivano jayeyu. Now the Bhishma, he said, talked about the Bhishma. He is the gurus, the teachers. But Bhishma himself said in the Mahabharata itself, the Bhishma said to Yudhishthira, he said, a man is a slave of wealth. But wealth is not a slave to man. O king, he is addressing, Bhishma addressed Yudhishthira as king. O king, this is truth. I am bound by the Kaurava through wealth. See here, I am actually fighting because I get lot of things from them. I cannot leave it now. This is the, the sentences uttered by Bhishma himself to Yudhishthira. From the Mahabharata, they quoted. You are talking about the Bhishma is a great personality, we know. But this is also true. Bhishma is verily the exemplary person. And at the same time, Drona is a versatile genius. Arjuna owes his skill in archery to this teacher. Kripa is another eminent person. Arjuna has been holding this man a merit in high veneration. To treat them as enemies now, all of a sudden, is impossible. That is exactly what the Arjuna is mentioning. Then he said, See, Nachaidat Bitmo Kataranno Gariyo, I cannot understand. What should I do? Kataranna. Kataran means which? Gariyo. Gariyo means better. What is better? That, see, he was giving the argument. And again, at the same time, suddenly he is telling, I cannot understand what is better, what is real, good. That means the doubt is there in his mind. And what is the doubt? Yadva yayema, we should conquer them or they should conquer us. Which is better? Something is going to happen. Either they will kill us or we will kill them. Because the jaya, the, the final thing is the either they will conquer us or we will conquer them. If we are conquering them, what is going to happen? Then he said in the next verse that Karpanna dosha apahata sabhava. Now he is opening up his mind from the whole, whole first chapter and this few slokas in the second chapter, he was giving wonderful arguments, Arjuna, but now slowly he is coming up and opening up his mind and he is telling Karpanna dosha upahata sabhava What is the Karpanna dosha? Overpower by this unenlightenment or Ajnana My mind is overpowered by Ajnana Arjuna was trained in the Shastras and he knew what is good and what is bad, what he should do, what he should not. He was not an ignorant person. He knew this. But right this moment, he was bewildered. So he mentioned Karpanya Dosha because my mind is overpowered with this ignorance. I do not know. Prichwami Twam, I am asking you. Prichwami, asking Twam. Oh Krishna, I am asking you. Dharma Sammura Cheta and this mind bewildered about my duty. In Hindi, again and again, you will find the people are talking about Dharma Sankat. Abhi ye Dharma Sankat mein hai, Hindi mein they will say. Abhi to main Dharma Sankat mein hoon. 
this dharma sankat means what is my duty now one now now in different languages also this type of words are now uh, creeping in they are used one boy he married he was not willing to marry but his mother was forcing go on crying uh, so then he, he married now immediately after the marriage the mother told this uh, wife is not good you should like this and that so there's a now that boy rang to me and told swami ji ami to ekhon dharma dharma sankat ami what shall i do i am in a dharma sankat i mean dharma sankat means what is what should be my duty here the dharma means duty and sankat means problem arjuna is also mentioning dharma sankat dharma sammurha chetaha this not sankat it is sammurha murha means totally confused a person the highest we can say the condemnation in the language of sanskrit murha murha jahi hi dhanagama trishnam etc murha means totally confused what one should do you do not know so so you are a murha so there he mention prichwami twam i am asking yat sriya syat ya sriya sriya means what is good better syat nischitam bruhitan me you tell me that categorically me to me categorically please mention that then he said why i am asking why i am telling shishyaste ham i am your disciple unless and until one becomes humble the guru will never speak if you go on telling i know i know i know it's so good if you know is all right so this is the thing <laughs> one no, i am not actually criticizing but these are the you know the very wonderful things happen the group of people came and one very famous person also among them then another person came and he was telling that i know everything about vivekananda i told good i was very happy then i when he was talking about vivekananda i understood that actually he never read anything he simply thought something and imposing those things on vivek of course all those things are very good but still vivekananda one when he was meditating he, he was meditating at kanyakumari from there he floated and came over here i told floated but actually he purchased the ticket and it took one month for him to sell from india to and then he got down at vancouver all these things no no they have written but the truth i am telling you you don't know you are telling me you don't know i am telling you the truth i told then it is better that you should write and give it to us because something new has been revealed in your so that type of people are also there but they are dharma sammodha cheta he is thinking unless and until we are giving some uh, this type of words about vivekananda his greatness will be lost no wrong normal way but at the same time he is great in his achievement and here shishya means humble unless and until then those people told we have come to shami ji let us listen to shami ji we will listen from you afterwards at least 10 15 minutes will be here let us hear from shami ji unless and until you are humble so you won't learn so he said that shishya steham shadi mam tam prapanyam in the next shloka he said nahi prapashyami ममुद्यामुद्रिया भूमा बसपत्न मृद्धम 
राज्यम सुरानाम उपिचाधिपत्यम हियर अगेन जस्ट नाउ ही सेड आई एम योर डिसाइपल आई एम कंफ्यूज आई कैन नॉट टेक डिसीजन प्लीज टेल मी अगेन ही इज टेलिंग इवन इफ यू गिव मी ऑल द किंगडम दैट इज रूल्ड बाय द गॉड्स व्हाट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस वर्ल्ड even the heaven if you give it to me i think that i should not accept that see the why we repeated this sloka because to understand the confusion of a person and who is the person arjuna what about us we are totally confused we do not know right this moment we are telling like this and another moment we are talking like that so this is a condition of a human mind we do not know what we should do so this is the arjuna is nahi prapashyami i see mama panudyat would remove what that means show come the grief what can remove my grief i can't i can't find anything and see this bhuma this earth what you are talking about even if i get the heaven the place which is ruled by the devas even that i am not willing to get uh, that that also even if you give that cannot remove my misery then sanjaya said he is now the sanjaya is giving the statement संजय उवाच एव मुक्त ऋषिकेश गुणाकेश परम तप इति गोविंदम उक्त तूष्णी बभूव tushni means silence now he is just simply quietly sad not i should not use the word quietly because within his mind the tempest was going on but he sat without telling anything without talking or argu- arguing anything he sat evam uktwa and saying like this what the other arguments that he has already given rishi kesham guna kesha param tapa all these epithets all these adjectives that have been used by sanjaya see some people they talk about in indian society that we do not care about the low caste people sanjaya himself was a low caste person and he used to uh, the the chariot he used to just uh, drive the chariot that was not a very good profession but even then we the there in those days people used to appreciate him because of his knowledge is not the birth is not the family but the knowledge that has been always acknowledged by the indian society so that proves over here the sanjaya he said evam uktwa by saying like this rishikesham rishikesha means krishna and this rishikesha one who knows the inner soul of everyone gurakesha one who has already conquered his sleep is called gurakesha that means one who has already conquered his senses is so difficult to conquer the senses and arjuna is not an ordinary person to under- make us understand that he is using this guna kesha he conquered his sleep and param tapa scorchers of the foes no yotsyam i am not going to fight iti gobindam gobinda means one who could understand the minds of everyone and uktwa tushnim babuba and 
he sat without telling anything. Now, here begins the words of Sri Krishna and he says, Tamu Bacha Rishi Kesha Prahasanni Bhavarata Senayor Ubhayar Madde Vishidanta Idam Bacha Smiling Prahasan Niva Prahasan Mani Smiling But not to insult But to encourage Sometime When somebody is telling something The elderly people They smile Not to insult But to encourage A knowledgeable person When he is listening To the children Their argument They be smiling not to insult them, but to encourage, oh good, this is at least something you have thought. And now then he will say like this, the thumb to him Ubacha spoke, Rishi Kesha, the Krishna, Prahasan, Prahasan means smiling, as it were, as it, like that Bharata. Bharata means immediately he is giving the hint, that you are the descendant of the great king Bharat. And here, Senayor Ubhayor Madde. When both the enemies, both the soldiers, they are facing each other, why they me he mentioned this? Sanjaya mentioning this. Why he mentioned this? Because this is the time when one is going either to be killed by someone or he is going to kill someone at that time look at the mind so calm and composed even in that time people mostly become agitated something is going to happen now but he is so calm so composed who Rishikesha who Sri Krishna and that's why he is Bhagavan. He is controlling his, all his senses. The most of the time we are agitated. When something is happening, everybody is trying to do something serious, we are also agitated. But he said no. And when he is telling, again he is mentioning like this, Sri Bhagavan Ubacha. Ashwachwan Anyashochastam Pragya Badamscha Bhashase Gatasuna Agatasumscha Nanushochanti Pandita He is taking the mind immediately to a very high level. And what is that high level? The truth. What is the truth? That you are thinking they are going to be killed? No. It cannot be. Only the figures, the bodies will be changed. That's all. But actually in reality it will be there. Now, suppose we think that they have a type of bulbs used over here. Now we break all these bulbs. What happens? Next time when we change another bulb, we are giving the light. Because actually the electricity passes, current is always there. Similarly, Atman is always there, it is always present. Only the figures, the bodies are changing. When a person is dead, he is changing the body. Like that, different type of forms in the bulbs, different names, different shapes. But original, the thing that he is giving the light, that electricity is always there, Atman is there. Ashwachwan, 
Anyashochastam. It's a nice way he is telling. You are, you are grieving. Ashwachwan Anyashochastam. You are grieving for those which you are not supposed to. You are crying. You are thinking about those things which you are not supposed to. Pragyabhadam Shchabhasya se but you are talking like very man of wisdom. He is asking Arjuna. You are talking like a man of wisdom. But actually what is happening? This is the thing. Pragyabhadam Shchabhasya se Gatasuna Agatasumscha Those who are dead and those who have not yet born about them nobody thinks that is the way of a learned person. If you go on thinking in this way, while speaking like an enlightened one, sorrows like an ignorant one. You should not behave like that. So in one go, he is taking the mind of the Arjuna to in such a higher level, the whole thing is totally changed. He is not talking anything else, but the ultimate philosophy of Hindus. The ultimate philosophy of the Hindus are Vedanta. And Veda means knowledge. Anta means end. The last knowledge. What is that? Knowledge of oneness. All that you see is nothing but the manifestation of the same oneness. And that one is called Atman. And the next sloka he says, Natve Baham Jatu nasam, natvam neme, janadhipaha, nachaiva na bhavishyama, sarve bayamataparam. See, he is telling that natve baham jatu nasam. You are thinking that you were born? Actually not. When you read like this, we are confused. What the Krishna is telling? How it is that we are very much here. We can feel the pain. We can feel the pleasure. We can smell, we can taste, we can do anything. Still you say that we are not here. Aham, I, Jatu, at any time. Don't think that I was not there or I was born. Aham was not, thou was not. These Janadipaha, these people, they were not because constantly we were there. All of us, we were there. At the same time, nor I, nor you, nor any of these ruling princes were ever non-existence. Don't think they were not there. They were there. Bef nor is it that we shall cease to be in the future. And again, we all will be there. Why he is telling like this? Very confusing. We individually, Jivatma will be there. Only our forms will be changed. Previously also we were there. In future also we will be there. Before our this birth, we were surely there, somewhere, in some form. And after our death, we will be there, in some form. Sometimes, you will find that the moment you see somebody, you feel like, oh, I know him so much. And the moment you talk, he becomes so close friends. How and why? Because we were known to each other in previous life. That's why we are liking it immediately. And sometimes the moment you see somebody, he feel that I should not be in his company. Why? You have not talked with him. But just by seeing him, 
that is also from the same those things proves that there's a past birth here sri krishna categorically is mentioning previously also we were there in future also we will be there only thing the shape will be changed name will be changed maybe we won't be here maybe we will be somewhere else ma sharadamani devi when she saw the some people the european people they were appreciating in the temple architecture the mother saw them and you know that mother had that capacity immediately she could see the past and the present and she murmured she just soliloquized those who constructed this temple now in this life they have come and appreciating can you imagine that these people they constructed and that time they were working maybe in a different way and now they took birth in a different place and different shape and different name but they have come there one lady she is so much attracted to kolkata can you imagine american lady and again and again she is telling i like to go to kolkata oh goria heart is so good to me i like to stay over there goria heart those who have gone they know so crowded and if you are trying to do, do uh, uh, say something over phone and the other person will go on listening so many different type of sounds <laughs> that is goria heart and you cannot simply stand like that some people will come and they will give you a because there's so much of crowd all the time going this way that way but she likes it so much not only that her husband also and they are planning to go again to go and stay there for some time when they go they stay in the ramakrishna mission gol park we have a ashram over there and guest houses why suddenly she is liking that place suddenly accidentally no if we could see the past we could understand why she is there so this proves natve vaham jatu nasam natvam neme janadhipaha not you not me but that this people don't think that we were not there we all were there in the past don't think we won't be there in the future we all will be there and then in the 13 verse he says <clears throat> 